Road construction. Subbase and base layers. Typical road section. Here typical section of road is shown below in an image. Here lowermost layer is subgrade layer which is weak and moisture sensitive in situ soil. After providing of the subgrade layer, subbase layer is to be provided which is moderately strong with free draining and it also an inexpensive as it is natural material. After that base layer is to be provided which is strong with free draining and it is less expensive as it is manufactured. Uppermost layer is surface of the road which is very strong, impermeable and expensive as it is manufactured. Clearing and grubbing Clear the roadway for debris. Ensure major stumps and roots are removed. Preferably, top 300 mm should be removed. Drainage and moisture control Stability of road is maintained if it stays dry. Care should be made to prevent water ingress. Drains should be constructed on sides to remove and store excess water from road surface. Preferably, it should be more than 1 meter in depth, which is depending on soil conditions. Introduction of rolling Rolling is a very important activity for a good quality road. The weight of roller to be used according to first size and hardness of stone and second thickness of layers. Rolling is start from edge and move towards center. Depth of loose material should not exceed 250 mm. For higher thickness, it should be installed in layers. Each strip should be overlapped by one third of the width. Rolling output. In case of after screening spreading, rolling output is 1,600 to 1,800 square meter per day. In case of two coats of surface dressing done together, rolling output is 1,000 square meter per day. In case of consolidating pre-mixed carpet, rolling output is 500 to 600 square meter per day. In case of hard metal, rubble, rolling output is 20 to 25 cubic meter. In case of soft metal, 30 to 63 93 metal, rolling output is 60 to 80 cubic meter. Quality of rolling Increasing number of passes may not increase density of soil. Dry density method, measuring density of compacted soil. Test sand replacement method. Density equals mass m cone divided by volume. Preparation of subbase. It is the most important activity for construction of good quality roads. It must be well hardened and well compacted. Proper attention to be given on drainage. Should be prepared over full width of embankment, including shoulder. Material used for subbase is natural soil. Ideal proportion of soil is 70 to 85 percent sand, 10 to 20 percent silt, 5 to 10 percent clay. Subgrade should be shaped to required final profile. Stabilization of subbase. Ensure moisture content to produce dense compacted layer. Blending materials for stabilization may be gravel, crushed stone, crushed slag, soft aggregates, and natural sand or clay. Stabilization is done in layers with maximum up to 200 mm when compacted. The final surface should be well closed, well compacted, and free from any movement. Three tests per 1,000 square meter to be performed. Rubble soling or metalling. The primary function of soling is to distribute the load over a soft subgrade. It is done in such a way that there will be no sinking of the road crust into subgrade. It is done in layers with maximum thickness of 200 mm when compacted. Soling should not be done on soft soil surface. 
for bottom layer 230 mm to 300 mm size rubble stones used. Voids in the rubble soling needs to be filled properly with 63 to 90 mm stone metals. It must be rolled properly after void filling. Further voids can be filled with sand gravel or yellow earth and consolidated properly in every layer. Rubble soling or metalling. California bearing ratio, CBR. It is a penetration test used to measure load bearing capacity of soil. The harder the surface, the higher the CBR rating. Typical values of this test are clay 2%, sand 10%, subbase after compaction, 80 to 100% maximum. The results obtained by these tests are used with the empirical curves to determine the thickness of pavement.